Good morning, guys. We're starting out with wet roads in Branson after some heavy rain moved through. It's 68 degrees on west and southwest winds. We've got uh, some very heavy rain that fell over in Benton and St. Clair counties. One flash flood warning goes until 9. Another near Cole Camp goes until 945. Reports of some manholes popping because of uh, flash flooding and parts of Highway 65 up here in Benton County with a foot of water over it. So please keep that in mind if you're about to head out. Marshfield seeing a heavy downpour right now. Rogersville as well, the heaviest rain now to the east of Springfield, Garrison, and then Diamond City, seeing some of these locally heavy downpours and lightning strikes this morning. It is 68 degrees in Springfield, 65 in Monette, and 70 in Rolla. By dismissal, we'll keep a chance of showers and storms, even though they'll continue to break up. 79 degrees, but mostly cloudy skies. So that line breaks up as it moves to the south and east. We keep mostly cloudy skies and temperatures in the upper 70s today. Then by tonight, we'll keep things mostly cloudy with temperatures in the 60s. And then by tomorrow, the front stalls, so still mostly cloudy. Temperatures in the lower 80s with a storm chance. So we start the Labor Day holiday with a couple of showers and storms still possible at 81 degrees. The front retreats on Sunday, an isolated shower or two. But by Monday, mostly sunny and hot, 88 degrees, more summery. We'll have nice conditions for the barbecue and the pool and all that jazz should be really nice for Labor Day. Dorian is a Category 2 hurricane. Lonnie Quinn has updates on this coming up on CPS this morning right after daybreak. In your political coverage, Governor Mike Parson is defending his position to call a special session on motor vehicle tax allowances. We talked about the controversy with local representative Crystal Quaid. And if we're going to be spending taxpayer dollars, which it will cost money for us to go back, we will gavel in on Monday and be there at least until uh, Wednesday, if not Thursday. That's going to cost money on taxpayers. And if we're going to do that, we should be using that for true emergencies, not for an, an extra tax loophole that's only going to affect about 3,000 people. Governor Parson can call a special session whenever he likes. That means he's calling legislators that are on break back to Jeff City for this to push through to become Missouri law. But many lawmakers would rather focus on gun reform right now. We also spoke to the governor about this. We're going to do whatever I feel like we can at the state level to put to do whatever resources we have. I feel within my powers to do that and also stay in the lane of my powers to do that. But, you know, on the gun issue, you know, it's just not a gun issue. You know, this, this issue is a lot more than just a gun issue right now. You know, this is a society issue, and we've got to figure out how we all work together. The special session begins Monday, September 9th, and is expected to cost taxpayers an estimated $16,000. For years, Purdue Pharma and the family who owns it, the Sacklers, have been blamed for OxyContin's role in the nation's opioid epidemic. And Senator Josh Hawley weighed in on this when he was Missouri's attorney general. The citizens of Missouri have been the victims of a coordinated campaign of fraud and deception about the nature of drugs known as opioids. The Sacklers have insisted the family and company has nothing to do with the health crisis, but now Purdue Pharma is in settlement talks, which could cost the company 10 to 12 billion, according to NBC News. As part of the plan, the New York Times is reporting the Sackler family would give up its stake in the company and pay at least 3 billion of its own money. Attorneys are expected to update the court on settlement talks at the end of this week. In your weather coverage, Springfield generally sees little impact from tropical systems. However, the Ozarks does help with forecasting and relief. Each day, the National Weather Service office in Springfield launches two weather balloons with a radio sound attached that collects data to use in forecast models. Those models help meteorologists. The Springfield office, along with several others, are now launching four weather balloons per day. Well, the National Hurricane Center is actually the one that requested um, that these offices do special balloon launches more than once a day. And what that's actually doing is it gives them a better idea of what the models are doing and how the upper air um, is all coming together in the futures that are there. Um, and that all plays together in where the hurricane is able to track and how, how much the hurricane is actually able to develop over the up upcoming days. Perez says they will continue to launch four balloons a day until further notice. Convoy of Hope's disaster team is deploying to Florida on Monday and will assess that situation once it arrives.
Let's do some news from around the region now for you. The age to buy tobacco in Arkansas is going up next week. 18 different states in the country with Arkansas soon to be added to that. So you must be 21 to buy tobacco products. That includes cigarettes and e-cigs. And the change will go into effect on Sunday. Dr. Gary Wheeler with the Arkansas Department of Health fully supports this change. But over the long haul, it's going to be really good for Arkansas in terms of reducing the number of people who are using tobacco. Dr. Wheeler also says he hopes this breaks the cycle of nicotine addiction. Here's a look at what's coming up after daybreak. I'm Tony DeCopel. Coming up, visit a groundbreaking lab that produces real meat. No animals harmed in the making of this delicious looking steak that's coming up on CBS This Morning. We do have some trends that we're tracking right now. One of them, uh, you may have heard if you watched earlier in the newscast, Apple is announcing that it is going to help out third party repair shops. Apple used to be very strict if you had iPhones, iPads, not to go to third party places mm -hmm. to get batteries changed or anything else fixed. They will be shipping some parts to those supply stores and they're going to be okay with that. That would be a game changer because we don't have an Apple store in Springfield. Mm -hmm. you know? right. So that's, that's the hard part is trying to get it fixed when there are no Apple stores around. And a lot of more rural places will appreciate that too. Certainly, yeah. That would be a great, that's a big get for a lot of people that use those Apple products. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have a second trend happening this morning out of the White House. Tr President Trump's personal assistant has just resigned last night. Madeline Westerhout abruptly resigned and the reasoning behind it is is that she was allegedly giving inside information to reporters. So this is a new story, but we'll be learning more in the coming weeks, I'm sure. Yeah, curious if the president will weigh in on this as well. We'll have to check and see if he does follow up with that a little bit. Of course, he canceled his trip to Poland that was supposed to happen this weekend mm -hmm. because he'll be monitoring Hurricane Dorian that's going on. Yeah, that is uh, poised to make landfall in Florida by Labor Day. And with it, there's going to be a two-part issue with this. One, it makes landfall as a very strong Category 4 storm. Mm -hmm. So that's incredible wind damage with that and surge. Two, it stalls through Tuesday and part of Wednesday. Wow. So that's inches upon inches of heavy rain because you have a hurricane sitting in the same spot. Okay, and then here locally, Labor Day means we do have some storms, but not, <laughs> not that system quite yet. Uh, no, no, not Dorian, but we've got a couple of showers and storms today by dismissal, 79 degrees and much cooler with some showers and storms. So keep an eye out for Friday night lights, some lightning, maybe some soggy fields from the heavy rain we got this morning. The second half of the holiday weekend will dry out mostly sunny temperatures at 88 degrees on Monday. All right, thanks for starting off your weekend with us here on Daybreak. There's a look at those wet roads down in Branson. You can check out your weather anytime on OzarksFirst.com.